A lot has changed in 225 years. George Washington was just in his second year as president. Ohio was still 12 years away from becoming a state. When late in 1791, General Arthur St. Clair led the American army in battle against Native Americans at the Wabash River near present-day Fort Recovery. Well, next month, the village of Fort Recovery will celebrate its 225th anniversary. Tons of exciting events planned for the festivities June 12th through the 19th in the fort. Would love to add another state title to the mix. The school won the state football crown in the fall, and they're one win away from back-to-back -back trips to the state baseball tournament. We'll have to get past the resilient Kaleida Wildcats, who came from behind to win each of their last two postseason games. Plenty of Fort Recovery fans on hand, happy after a seven-run third inning. Top of the fourth, Fort Recovery looking to add to it. Runner on for Hunter Boogman, grounder to third. Throw is offline. Jackson Hobbs goes from second to third, and then throw to third. Will get away as well. Hobbs comes in to score eight nothing. Boogman would later score on a fielder's choice. Cade Wendell sinking liner to center. Austin Swift a sliding catch. Bottom of the fifth. Kaleida trying to get back into it. Two on. Trent Siebenick grounder to short. Jake Homan throw to first in time, but Noel Lambert scores. Kaleida gets on the board. And too much from Fort Recovery in the seventh. A 10-1 lead when Wendell. Singles in the center, Will Homan scores. Fort Recovery, they win 11-1. They're going back to the state tournament. Nick Thwaites gets the W. Jake Homan's home run in the seven-run third inning, triggering the offensive outburst. Jacob Homan, uh, Mr. Thunder came through with a nice swing, uh, and it just carried out. In this ballpark, we noticed yesterday that uh, center and right center, the ball really seems to carry. At least we felt that way. And he just happened to get it up in that in that jet stream up there, and it just kind of rode it out. I was pretty far into the count, and I think it was two two count. Um, he gave me a, a knuckleball, high outside fastball. I just let it travel in the zone, and I just hit it as hard as I could. Hit hit it on the fat part of the bat, and it just flew. And that wind definitely helped it. And I just thank God for that wind because if that wind wouldn't have been there, it wouldn't have been gone. At first, I, I thought it was a routine pop fly, but just kept going, and I, I'm just proud of our team. Now we hit the ball today, so hopefully we'll keep it going. Uh, it's a lot of fun to be back there. I mean, it's my first time. Well, obviously wasn't with this team last year, but it's gonna be. It's a, been a great run, and we're, we hope we're not done yet. This uh, baseball program has been working hard in the past few years, and now it finally has come to its potential, and now we're actually doing it, and we're actually winning ball games. We're going far in tournament, so it just takes a lot of hard work and coming out here every day and um, working as hard as we can and trusting each other, trusting everybody on our team, and yep, that's how it is.